Oh, that's nice. It's kind of like the Matrix. Yep. <laughs> it's, it's the Matrix. Game by Alt Shift. Oh, little bodies. Echoes. Chapter 2 is locked. Makes sense. I have. Is it good, Akka? Ellis, Idaho. Where? Where am I? Caliban. A dwarf planet on the outer rim. Most call it Gehenna, if they call it anything at all. Oh, I should get a robot filter thing. I should, I should do that, get a thing that does voice modulation. This, Admiral, is a top secret cloning facility for the Imperial forces. Oh man, we're Imperials? Dirty imps. The one and only of its kind. I am Caliban. It's Omniguard. I... I don't understand. You have died. That's a, that's a dose of reality for you, isn't it? <laughs> you have died. Admiral. Or, to put it another way, the true version of you has died. You are his clone, identical to the original Ellis Idaho in every possible way, with some minor differences. It's not very identical then, is it? When did I... When did Admiral Idaho die? Oh, man, referring to yourself as someone else. How? Unfortunately, I do not know the details of my clone's lives. As interesting as they must be, extraneous to my directives, I believe. Which leads me to why I've awoken you. You must be curious, after all. I... Need your help. A machine asking for my help? Now I truly feel strange. Not just a machine, Admiral. An Omni. Short for Omni Mechanical Neo N Intelligence. Emperor Oberon invented us. Now your kind relies on us for just about everything. I'll come right out with it. I believe the Empire... Bom, 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 is in danger. In danger? What in the name of Oberon are you talking about? Once every four years, under the most secretive protocols, I receive a single transmission from Elysium, our capital. Those transmissions stopped arriving. So you send a, a transmission yourself? I don't see the problem. That's just it. I can't. This facility was built in such a way to prevent it from initializing contact with the Empire to help keep it a secret. Something is wrong. I am certain of it. And I've awoken you so that we can fly out of here in an Omega-class battleship, no less, and see for ourselves. We? Oui. I believe you'll find my intelligence indispensable for our mission, Admiral. I don't have your kind's limitations. If you're so smart, what do you need me for? Why don't you command the battleship? Because of Oberon's Rubicon, it prohibits Omnis from commanding battleships. War is a human prerogative. Also, 
Since I can assume the clones here are the best of the best, that would make you the best Imperial Admiral to ever exist. I'd say you're perfect for the job. I'll do it, machine. For Oberon and the Empire. It's my duty as an Imperial Admiral. Bom, 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 bom. Excellent. Now, just one more thing. Standard operating procedure requires I ask. Can you recall any of your emotional memories? Emotional memories? Any memory linked to a strong emotion like love or hate. These memories, because of their complex neural pathways, will be a bit trickier for you to access, I'm afraid. I, I'm not sure. Then if you would do me the honour of trying to recall one. Any emotional memory will do. I... I can't. So much is blurred. Broken apart. Don't worry, Admiral. Perfectly normal for this stage. You'll find rational memories on the other hand, those linked to Idaho's training and combat experience, almost immediately accessible. Just ask if you need a refresher. Lastly, and this is important, these emotional memories return, rather, when they return. You must tell me immediately. It is important for your... safety. Yes, your safety. Do you understand? I understand. How does he have such a zeal for the Empire with no emotional memories? Probably because it's not any individual memory. He's got so much training and, like, ingrained... You know, it's like, there's just so many of them. It's probably more just a feeling. <clears throat> Perfect. Now let's wake up the rest of the crew, shall we? We don't have a moment to waste. And please, Admiral. What is it now, Machine? Call me Caliban. <laughs> oh, poor Machine wants to be called by his name. Gehenna Battleship Omega Crafter Interface. Oh wow, we complete chapter one, we get another ship. Whoa, how many ships are that? One, two, three, four is the Geno. Five hammer, six ships. Okay. Do we easily just get to look at it? No. Just a feeling sounds like an emotion? Well, it probably is, but... Like, instead of finding one individual emotion in there, like a memory... He's just got these, like, ingrained from years and years of uh, admiraling. I'd say since he can't think of any other, other like, strong love memories, he probably, you know, single admiral, married to the job, loves the Imperials, wants to be the Emperor, you know. Standard Clone Wars situation. I'm getting all Star Warsy already. Okay, so we can't unlock any of those ships. What do we got? Fuel? Five fuel? Scrap? Hey, we're using scrap as well. Commandos. Auxiliary systems. Squadron system repair bots. Improve squadron's regen time while docked by 30% from 60 seconds to 42 seconds. Uh, increased resource rewards at easier enemies. Normal? We'll just go into normal, I think. And if it ends up being like FTL, after a few games, we'll go in on easy. Okay, so we can upgrade squadron docks. Oh, this one only gets two of those. So this is uh, what we start with and what we can upgrade to. So other ships might be able to go into these ones, maybe. Additional hull structures. Hardened hull. Hull bars your battleship's health. Harden your hull to make it more durable in battle. Okay. We get to choose officers next. This is what we're taking. We can't can't modify anything here. Fair enough. We can only choose one ship. Looks pretty cool. Looks like a gun. Wow. Can we rename them? No. Oh, you can't be on the crew, guys. Sorry. All right. So we have soldier. Who are we choosing? We still have one officer. Okay, so we can choose two. I am Muna. Emergency repair. Hull repair, point five points per second. What are these things? Can we see the other things? Doesn't tell us. We'll probably learn about these. Proximity defense. Deals two DPS to enemies adjacent your battleship. System cells. So when enemies are fighting you, when they get to you, you deal like a damage aura. It's kind of nice. Another spy. Shop price when sold. Double for sale price. That could be alright. Uh, rep and reload time 15%. Minus 15%. Okay. Increases squadron's deployment zone. Oh, 
interesting as well. They all have six health, and they all have... So I probably don't want to have two of the same guys, because they have overlapping skills. Maybe we'd want different choices out of those. Um, extra sale price seems good. What else can we do? Reload or squadron's deployment zone? Let's go either faster reload. Let's do it. Chapter 1 Echoes, Sector 1 of 3. These are the sectors of the Outer Rim Admiral, the farthest sectors from the capital that are that there are. If there was ever a wasteland in the Empire, this would be it. So we're here. The closest one in entrance, and the closest one is Bowers Fenlio. Bowers, Fen Bowers Fenlio? <laughs> Strange. I'm not picking up other Omnis. Even out here, I should be picking up dozens of them. Let's try not to overreact, machine. It's probably nothing. The Empire has run flawlessly for how many years now? 700. It's a precise number. And it will do so for hundreds more. Now, come on. Let's take a look around. Okay, so we have points of interest. Five points of interest. There's a ground signal. We don't have a trading beacon. And we have one anomaly. What's an anomaly? Anomalies are signals that the riskiest events you'll counter, offering very positive or very negative outcomes. You won't know which type of event it is, positive or negative, until arriving at the signal source. Okay. Well, I guess we're going here. So it uses a fuel. Yeah. Whoa. It's a Borg! <laughs> what do we do here, Lieutenant? Oh, what's, what do we do? What do we do? Um... Amalga, it's not, um, assimilate, we assimilate, that's the answer. It appears to be some kind of cube-like refinery, sir. Thank you, Lieutenant Hawks. It's at Neo N, oh, can't pass over, hypercube. Omnitech for simultaneous harvesting and refining nutrium, neutrinium from nearby stars. Inter interesting, if not downright bizarre. This cube isn't connected to the fold net. It's the fold net. How could that be? And why aren't there hypercube omnis trying to reconnect it as I speak? Ask Caliban for explanations. Your memory is still blurry. Uh, certainly things are still blurry to me, machine. What do you want to know, Admiral? Ask Caliban about Neo N. Tell me about Neo N. Hundreds of years ago, pre-Omni times, the first advanced machines discovered the existence of the final element. Neutrinium, which exists usually, but not always, in stars. Neutrinium is extremely volatile in its natural state. These advanced machines stabilized and improved upon it, providing the most powerful and longest lasting energy source yet. Neo Neutrinium, or Neo N. Neo N in turn allowed these first machines to create e an even more advanced machine, the Omni, an acronym for Omni Mechanical Neo N Intelligence. This dude, yeah. But I thought you told me Oberon invented the Omnis. I did. You're absolutely right. But technically, it's not entirely true. Oberon invented the first advanced machines, which in turn, thanks in part to their creation of Neo N, invented the Omnis. Neo N in its refined state is perfectly energy source, stable and almost boundless in its energy yield. As a result, it's used in just about all Omni tech as humans stopped inventing tech hundreds of years ago. Lastly, what's important about Neo N is that it's our very own battleship. The NS Odysseus uses it, and without it, we can't go anywhere. Okay, what about the fold net? Tell me more about the fold net. As you probably recall by now, Admiral, the Omnis have invented and managed Imperial tech more or less since the dawn of the Empire. The fold net, arguably our greatest achievement, forms the backbone of the Empire. Think of it as a global galactic network, allowing instant data and or matter transmissions through its numerous interconnected folders and beacons. So it's like space windows? And without the constant vigilance and management of Foldnet Omnis, none of it would be possible and humanity would live in fragmented, chaotic darkness. Needless to say, it's important. Oh wow, ask about folders? Folders. <laughs> Let me see if I can explain this to you in a way that you could possibly understand. Rude! 
In early days of the Empire, at speeds of a hundred times that of light speed, an interstice offered the fast the interstice. It's like the space internet. Oh, it's um, Elon Musk's space internet. Yeah, offered the fastest space travel available. It was fast. Don't get me wrong, but traveling from cluster to cluster could still take decades. Ooh. To assist Empire administration and just and just because we could, the Omnis invented a means to travel from two places points in space instantaneously. The folders. Yes, each folder several kilometers across is linked or paired with another folder through a process of. This is going to be really difficult to explain to a non-quantum computing entity. <laughs> Essentially, all you need to know is that the paired folders collapse or fold space for a very brief amount of time so as to join two points in space previously unjoined. Without the folders, Oberon could never have grown his empire nor kept it together for the 700 years that he has. He's a very old man. Each folder is run by an Omni. These Omnis are cleverly known as Folder Omnis. It's a uh, good nomenclature. Without them, the folders simply cannot work. Lastly, in order to reach Elysium, the Empire's capital on our journey, we'll have to use several folders. Why can't we just teleport to Elysium directly? We are deep in the Outer Rim. The few folders paired with Elysium will be found only in very important hubs. We'll need to reach those first. Ah! Oh. It's why pretty much it's why pretty much like you have to fly through Denver or Atlanta, right? Direct flight's not available. Beacons? Can you tell me about the fold net beacons? The beacons, which we will most likely encounter on our journey, function as repeaters, amplifying all fold net data transmissions through the clusters. Beacons allow the Empire citizens, even if they live out here on the Outer Rim, and are, for all intents and purposes, socially and culturally irrelevant, to receive and send information in the galaxy instantly. Oprah believes that everyone has the right to instantaneous information and materials in his sectors quite debatable if you ask me thanks dude okay and then lastly hopefully the interstice interstice is another omni invented tech one of the first great inventions and one developed long before the folders with their interstitial tech the omnis created an empty space dimension between ones you know and what we call a tunnel where the universe light speed behaves let's say differently interstitial tunnel it's possible to reach up to 100 times the speed of light a speed that allowed your kind to colonize the nearest stars and registral travel still has its limitations for example at this speed it would take you 750 years to travel from one end of the empire to the other a period of time greater than the age of the empire itself hence the need for folders however the interstice is sufficient when traveling intra cluster and within that cluster's sector okay no more questions that's enough for now machine Send a small team to investigate the cube. Captain Lynch, form a small squadron. Fly around the cube and tell me what you'll see. On it, sir. Do we get to play? Sir, the Omni was right. The cube isn't connected to the fold net. But by the looks of it, it hasn't been connected in years. Just a guess here, but I'd say it looks like it's been disconnected for 10, 15 years. 10 or 15 years at least sir Could the empire have i don't know disconnected it on purpose i don't think so admiral i'm not a cube omni myself but the cubes are complex tech needing constant supervision disconnecting it would make that all but impossible and the neon end levels empty sir there's no neon in here whatsoever looks like whoever came before us took all of it we won't be fueling here the reserves might be empty, but there could still be some residual neon coursing through the cube. I just call it neon. I'm going to call it neon. Hmm. Pretty sure we already have neon. I should be able to unlock this final restraint so that we can scavenge leftovers. Won't be much, but will help our efforts. There. We should be able to scavenge neon fuel now, but that will be the last of it in this cube. Oh, let's high roll. All suns have a neon and cube. We have a chance to scavenge some precious leftover fuel. No, we've got one. Bowers Fenlio, you're dead. Okay, local system map. Okay, anomaly signals are the riskiest of events you'll encounter, offering very positive or very negative outcomes. You don't know which type of event until you get the... Oh, okay. Until arriving at the source. Oh, it's from there. So these are locked. Is that locked as well? Can we not go to it?
Oh, but I can go to that one. Okay. Sir, battleship, 12 o'clock. Kind of battleship, Lieutenant. Couldn't say, sir. I've never seen a ship like this in all my service. Incoming transmission. Imperial battleship made from Telos tech. My mouth is watering. <laughs> Grub. This is Admiral Idaho of the Imperial Fleet. Stand down, Captain. This is an Imperial sector you find yourself in. Imperial sector? That's funny, Imp. I think he wants to fight us. The battle is imminent. Good luck, Admiral. Admiral. Admirable. Something. You can deploy your officers during fights. Some officers have special abilities that can boost specific systems. All officers can also repair critical effects sustained by any system. Dolphin Admin Ball. Yeah, that's right. Hey, Bernie. Some officers have special... Okay. There are three systems. Squadron, Weapon, and Hull. So be careful where you deploy your off officers. With tactical pause, this will not be a hard no-pause stream yet. Squadrons are essential to protect your battleship and destroy the enemy. To deploy your squadrons, click the plus sign on an empty dock. For now, your second dock will be locked until you have learned the basics. No, give it to me now. I don't want to die because I don't have it. Hey, zombie. Uh, we haven't got into combat yet. We've just been doing the opening RP. But it's like an RTS fighting version of FTL with story that matters, not events that don't matter. Okay, use your weapons to gain decisive advantage on the battlefield. Weapons can be deployed by clicking the plus sign on an empty dock. Makes sense. Your neurocom can also accelerate your thoughts to a point where time appears totally still. Press spacebar to enter or exit from pause. Okay. Fighter does massive has a massive damage bonus versus drones. Drones have a massive damage bonus versus frigates. And frigates have a massive damage bonus versus fighters. So we have ourselves a little rock, paper, scissors. All right. Our enemy here is... He's got drones. Well, if you've got drones, I want to have fighters. I have a fighter mark one. I've got a drone mark one. I've got another drone mark one. What's the difference? This one's patched. Oh, it's only half... Okay, this one's only got half the amount of health. That's not as good. And I've got frigates. So I want fighters, I believe... My fighters have a massive damage versus his drones. It sounds good. Now we want to deploy our peoples. Now you get a shot price when sold. Nothing. That doesn't help us here. But you get a weapon reload time of 15%. So you probably want to go in weapons. Did I? Oh, I clicked on weapons. That's convenient. What weapons do I have? I have... A pierce laser mark one does 15 damage okay that can go in there and it's going to go at 18.9 seconds because it's getting made faster isn't that nice all right and who's the other dude does nothing there and does nothing there so you can just go there i guess so how do i get units on the bo on the board do we Oh, okay. Well, I suppose we want to put them as close as possible then, right? Doesn't matter, they're all, all the same distance. Can we... I've got to wait for them to deploy. Wait, did, I, did that get them? Oh, yep. Okay, we're going to fight. Okay, so let's go after their squadron so they can't get more out. They don't have a weapon, so we don't have to worry about their weapon. Your weapon has finished charging and is ready to fire. Click on it and choose a target on the battlefield to deal damage to your enemies. Okay. Let's go for their squadron. Oh, okay, so we've done damage to it. Did that... Did that make it take longer to deploy? It is taking longer to deploy. Good job, Admiral! Here is a summary of the battle. We got 59 scrap. 
What was that thing? What was that thing? What was that thing? What was that thing? I don't know, Lieutenant. And I'm not sure I want to either. <laughs> you know when you get a, um, a, a, a crew kill... Or when they're on, when your enemy in any FTL, when the enemy ship's on fire and you accept their, um, uh, their give. What's the word I'm looking for? When they give up, they surrender. When they, you accept their surrender, nice word, pants, word pants. Um, and you sit there and they, um, like just catch on fire and blow up anyway. That's what this feels like. Except I had the like pleasure of destroying them first, and I still got to watch them blow up. All right. Can we get upgrades here? No. So it doesn't look like we can do anything else here except go to the local system map. Commando's gonna be cool. Alright, so we've unlocked this one on the next oh, it's on the next ring, that's why. Okay, we've got to get to the the exit of the beacon first. Oh, because you use the fold, you fold into the beacon. Okay. Or interstition into the beacon. So we're going to the Geo Gao Chang 6. That looks cool. An Imperial outpost, sir. It seems abandoned. Any heat signatures? Not a single one. Seems empty of all human life. What about an omnipresent? They should be here managing the station, no? They should, and no, I'm not detecting any. This is getting stranger and stranger. Let's ask Caliban about this Imperial outpost. What can you tell me about this outpost? Seems to be just your run-of-the-mill Imperial outpost, Admiral. There are outposts in all Imperial sectors. With the capital Elysium so far away, they help keep the peace and maintain order. You must show me your military might so that you don't have to use it, I believe is the thinking. But there's definitely no military might here. Make, try to make contact? Lieutenant, see if we can make contact with someone, human or not, inside. Of course, Admiral. Is that like the phone ringing? That was a phone ringing sound, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, let's send a team of commandos to look for take a closer look, yeah? Do what to do, Admiral. Captain Lean, form a small team and check it out. You got it, sir. Sir, the outpost is empty. Seems it was abandoned years ago. If I had to guess, probably around the time the hypercube back there was disconnected from the fold net. Looks like someone came here, took most of the valuable oddly parts. Neo N encapsulators, positronic chips, and left the rest behind. Scavenging Omni parts? Who would do such a thing? That's a capital offence. One the Pragma execute you for. Hold on, sir. I'm getting a transmission. My commanders have found something. An Omni. Intact from top to bottom. Is it functional? That's a negative, sir. It's in a lower level. Guess whoever it was here before us didn't go down that far. Might have needed high clearance to get in. Admiral. I can examine it from here if the captain plugs the data pad into the exoc exosoc. Do your thing, Omni. Man, poor Caliban. He just wants wants to be called Caliban. They're all calling him Omni or Machine. Okay. Accessing the Omni's mainframe. And? Strange. Its exoframe is perfectly intact. There's plenty of neo -N and positronic chip seems to be in place. It should be up and running. I don't get it. Any idea when it, when it shut down? According to its chip, 20 years ago. Roughly the time the hypercube was unlinked from the fold net. So 20 years. And he told us at the beginning he gets a, a communication every four years. So he's missed four communications. So he would have known that something's been going on for 16, if not missed five. Why did it take so long to pull us out? 